step in again and welcome to our channel. Now it's December and Christmas is just around the corner. So, before anything else, I would like to greet all of my subscribers. Thank you very much. Because if it's not for you, my subscribers, I would not be in the, my position nowadays. By the way, today I'll be making another Christmas dish, a kind of dessert. That's a little bit fancy. I call it cream puffs one. But of course, before I can make the cream puffs one, I have to make the basics. So I'll be making a basic chew pastry and a basic soft custard. Because for the basic soft custard, I'll be making a patisserie cream. By the way, for first time here in our channel, after watching the video, please subscribe. And also, don't forget to click the bell and to click also the like button and also to comment down there. Well, to start, our ingredients are... Okay now, we will start to make our two pastry. This is the shell that is usually used for cream puff, eclair, and some savory puffs. We will make a shell for a cream puff, which is a dessert. So, we'll be adding a little vanilla. If it is for savory puff, no vanilla, only salt. Got it, guys? So, we'll start. And these are our ingredients. One half cup flour, all-purpose flour. One half cup water mixed with uh, milk, half and half. One fourth bar butter. Three pieces medium eggs. One pinch salt and uh, one half teaspoon vanilla. Okay, to start, we just have to put our mixture of milk and water. Now it's boiling. We will add the butter. When the butter is melted, we will add the the flour. Now we will add the flour and stir it. We just have to continue stirring until it leaves the sides of the pan and form into a bowl. Okay, we will put it in a mixing bowl. And rest it for two minutes. But we will add the salt first. And uh, the vanilla as well. We'll stir and then wait for uh, two minutes. Then we'll add eggs one by one. Okay. 
So our mixture is ready. We'll just cool it a little bit and then we'll start to fight it in a fighting bag. Now our mixture is cold. We'll put it in our pastry bag. First you have to put the pastry tape inside the pastry bag and then you have to twist the pastry bag to tighten. The next, you just have to put this in a glass. Like this. You have to put this in a glass. And then, we will start to add our mixture. So this is how to do it. Got it guys. If you have a, de a nice deep long glass it would be better. Okay. So this is how to, to do it, for you to work alone, and you have nobody to hold this for you. Okay, now, you just have to tighten, like this. This is how you will hold, and then you will just have to tighten it. And then you will press from here, from your right hand, and then your left hand is your guide. Now, I'm using a seal pot lining so that our mixture would not stick. Make sure that it's apart by at least two inches. Okay. So the left hand is just a guide. Okay. Enough now. We'll do the same for the rest of the two pastry. Now we'll put it in our turbo broiler here. We will put a shield with the holes so that uh, the heat would be balanced inside our turbo broiler. We'll start to bake it for uh, at least at least 15 to 20 minutes at high heat to start. Now it's starting to have a nice color and we would uh, uh, turn the heat to moderate for the next uh, uh, 25 minutes. And here now is our Two pastry shell. Uh, there are two shapes. The first one is round for cream puff, and the other one is the shape of a teardrops that I will make into a cream puffs one for the head of this one. 
this shape uh, doesn't look nice, but when it's assembled, it, it would be nicer. Look. This is the round one. The round. And this is the teardrop shape for our cream puffs one. Okay, now we will start to make our patisserie cream using all the ingredients here and equipment we need. We need a solar whisk, rubber spatula, a pot with water, and a mixing bowl. And these are our ingredients. Two cups milk, three fourths cup sugar, one half cup cornstarch, pinch of salt, one teaspoon vanilla, two tablespoons butter, and seven medium eggs, egg yolks. If it is large, it should only be six. Okay, this is what we will do. We will just put our milk, our sugar, our cornstarch, our pinch of salt, and our egg yolk. And then we will just be mixing this until the cornstarch is dissolved and uh, the egg yolks is well mixed with the full ingredient. It is how to hold the whisk. Hold the whisk as if you're holding a pen. We will just be waiting for this mixture to boil and then we will rapidly stir it with a spatula until it is thick. And when it is thick, we will add the vanilla and the butter. If you want to expedite or to be faster, uh, you can boil 75% of the milk and then the sugar, the egg yolk, the salt, and of course, starts you, you mix it with the one fourth, and then when the when the milk is boiling, you just add it into the mixture, and then stir. That's how to make it faster. We are making a salt custard, meaning it's an egg and milk mixture and cooked in a double boiler until it gets thick. So this is the salt custard, and from the basic salt custard. We are making a patisserie cream, but should you want to add flavor, feel free. You can add uh, pineapple, chocolate, coffee, uh, mango, strawberry. You can add. Pastry cream is used to fill in uh, cream puffs, egg layers, fruit tarts, or tartlets, uh, fruit tartlets, Napoleon slices and uh, some other pastries. That's why this is one basic in the pastry shop. If you are in the pastry shop, you should not run out of pastry cream. Now, it's starting to boil and it's starting to get thick. We have to skin it until it gets thick. We will lower the heat and we'll just let the heat of the water to finish everything until it gets it gets thick, and then we will add our butter and of course our vanilla, one teaspoon, one butter cup will do. And then we will let this cool and then we will be adding the whipped cream. Okay. So we'll just let it cool. Okay, now we will fold the whipped cream. Up. 
Pastry bar, you use the pastry bar with the pastry tip. You just have to put the pastry tip inside, and then you have to twist the tip so that it will be tight. You need the grass, then you put your pastry bar on the grass. Press the left hand with drive. Okay. okay, we will have cut this one. Cream pop swamp. Look at that. So 
So you see guys, that is our cream puffs one. And I just do hope that you may include it in your Christmas menu. First timer, may I remind you again. Now is the time for you to subscribe, like, and click the bell button just down there. And also, don't forget to comment. So that I could uh, make some adjustment to so comment that I need some improvement, I can make the necessary adjustment. Eh? So thank you very much guys for watching and see you next video. This is Chef Ben Casamor signing off. God bless us all.